And I'm very ecstatic for our episode today because we are joined by our director of content and PR, Lindy Kaiser. It's been a while since we've had her as a guest on the podcast. So we're going to talk about everything Secret Squirrel gifting during the holidays. So we have a ton of topics to go over. So Lindy, thank you for joining me today. Thank you. I'm super excited. I love gifts and gifting. So this is near and dear to my heart. I love a good holiday gift guide. And the great thing about a holiday gift guide is you can use it all year long. So basically we're kind of going to talk about gifting for secret squirrels because it's not, you know, it's not your typical gifting situation always. What you can, what you can and can't receive as a secret squirrel, depending on your status. You can speak from the recruiting side of the house. Certainly. I think I was kind of sad to know that recruiters don't always who gives a recruiter a gift I don't I don't know we'll, we'll talk about that but I think I first definitely want to talk about clearance jobs shop always not because I just like to shamelessly promote ourselves but you run clearance jobs shop and I just think it's so cool that we actually have squirrel gear that people I think would want to receive like actually decent. If you have secret squirrels in your life, you actually can shop for them at clearance job. So everyone, first off, you can visit www.clearancejobs.shop. You'll find all of our products and swag and lovely items. there. really nice items. So if you're looking for something on the, you know, more professional side, we do have so well professional, but hilarious. We have our secret squirrel posters that any security officer needs in their office. Um, so our Confessions of a Secret Squirrel campaign, I'm sure if you're in the DC metro area, you've seen them on the underground trains and subways there, but security officers can find some really lovely posters in our shop. We also have the newest item in our shop is our Secret Squirrel Whisperer t-shirts. So coming from a recruiter, whispering to the secret squirrels and any day is difficult, but especially during the holidays, trying to wrangle those secret squirrels is very tough. So we have those teas. You can buy those for recruiters. And we also have some really awesome kitchen gear. My favorite personally is the snack pack, clearance job snack pack. So it's stainless steel and we have an uh, array of items at clearancejobs.shop. I mean, define, I mean, define snack, Katie, because that, that's like a lunch pail, right? We call it a snack pack. What kind of snacks are you packing? <laughs> what? <laughs> <A> lunch pail. <laughs> no, it's a <laughs> decent it's size. It's great. It's, it's great. De- oh, and then there is, okay, so if we're talking about swag here, I've got to find it. If you're, if you're tuning in, you're missing me shuffling through the numerous secret squirrel papers. Oh, I'm probably going to put it. We have with our, with our newest swag, so it's not going to be in the shop yet, but this little baggie. Jack, what is what is this baggie? Okay, so, because it eventually, I imagine, will be in the shop. Or somebody tuning into the podcast may have been lucky enough. Again, for the audio listeners, imagine me holding up a tiny bag. Just visualize it in your head. I'm clutching a tiny bag with a squirrel on it. What do you put in these tiny little gifting bags? Really anything that your secret squirrel heart desires. So talk about the snack pack. I could, I'm all about like the reusable baggies for my kids. Can I pretend that this is food safe? Even if it isn't, it doesn't, it doesn't say in the tag. I feel like it could be, I think you could put pretzels in this. I mean, probably wash it first, but totally. I mean, it looks like a wet bag. So it's like, I like have things like this. Because I'm a mom, Katie, someday you can put dirty underwear in this. Not that you would ever have dirty underwear in your purse. I mean, who does that? I mean, there could be there could be a variety of reasons for that. I'm taking this podcast to another level. This is why they don't allow me on here. But there would be something in here. As a mom, I keep bags like this because your kids have stuff. And then they put it in your purse. And you're like, I don't want that in there. So these right. bags are great for that. So if we're talking secret squirrel gifting... Again, not, I'm spo- I'm talking about this, this, the shop, but I want to tease the items we don't even have yet. But I do think reusable bags are a great holiday gift that you yes. can't necessarily find at clearance jobs right now, but you can give to the secret squirrels in your life because we're on the go. People are back into the office. Like you say, the snack pack, the lunch bag, people are going back to work. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what it is either. I feel like it's like $20 is like the mm -hmm. limit on, on like what a government employee can receive from a contractor. Mm -hmm. But even like within with within office, so like I worked in the Pentagon and I worked, I had GS civilian supervisors, but I also worked on a team that was led by military members. And I know I'm I'm just a big fan of gifting. It's like my one of, one, I think I have all the love languages, but it's one of them. I like to give gifts. So I was a, I was like a GS7 and I was in it to win it. And I remember I sent like the, the military guys on my team. I mean, and they were like Lieutenant Colonels. They didn't, they didn't need, they were making way more money than I was as a GS7, <laughs> whatever. I sent them like Omaha steaks because I liked them and it was just, I'm from, I'm live in Omaha. I like Omaha. It was like a, it was like a shout out to my past. So I sent them Omaha steaks. <laughs> they were like, Appalled. Again, I had not read the regulations. <laughs> I did not know that it was not okay for a GS7 entry level employee to send Lieutenant Colonel's stakes. I mean, I don't, this is just, this is a walk through all of the things that I've screwed up. But anyway, it was like a big, like, I they had to, one of them like reimburse me back for the stakes. And I was like, well, this is just makes it way worse because I mean, I just bought you a couple of stakes. Anyway. So, but I feel like that was a lesson learned when in doubt, if you're like me and you're new to government. I was young. I was new. I had come from, you know, kind of like the commercial sector where like the Christmas parties, like there was just a different mm -hmm. flavor. Like people go big over the holidays. It's not, it was not the case in the government. You're having a potluck. You can bring a casserole. Do not show up with a filet. And do not give people Omaha Steaks gift cards because they are going to feel really awkward and sad about it. It was a bad move. Well, when in doubt, go small. I think mm -hmm. it's like a good office, right? Because if you give th any something too big, I mean, this was like pre-kid for me. I feel like I was just like, I didn't have, I didn't have a lot of people to gift. So it just seemed appropriate, but it was not appropriate. It was inappropriate. Yes. <laughs> but good point. Back. When in doubt, just, you know, go small or ask at, you know. Spies, secret squirrels. What would be on your holiday gift list? Either clearance job shop or other items that you can think of, Katie, that would be on your holiday gifting guide. Sure. Well, I I'm not a reader, but I know you are. So I think any of our book club picks would just be an excellent gift for any secret squirrel mm -hmm. in this community or ecosystem. We've had some really excellent ones, and I know that we've also done these wonderful live interviews with the authors um, that kind of tease to what the books are about and some of the leadership lessons you can find in them. So I would say any of those would be excellent picks for secret squirrels. For the recruiter, I will say a, a bottle of wine is always a good one, uh, a bottle of the favorite li liqueur liquor. Yes. Drink responsibly. But if we're going, if you're <laughs> gifting a recruiter. So, I mean, they have non-alcoholic versions too of a lot of, I feel like the Eggnog. world of beverages now is you can get, I mean, you can get, and coffee. I have rarely met a recruiter that didn't also That's love true. coffee. So I do think beverages are a good choice to go with coffee, wine, the books, I mean, you're near and dear to my heart. So we just read To Boldly Go is a great one. So Steve Leonard, contrib Clearance Jobs contributor, edited that. That would be a great holiday book. It's something that they'll read throughout the year, which I like. So it's not like, oh, they're going to read it and put it down and forget about you. So they'll remember you all year long as they pick up To Boldly Go sure. because it has it's chock full of a lot of content. And again, a lot of sci-fi, which a lot of our Secret Squirrel community it's really into the sci-fi genre, so it unpacks that. So that is another great one. Um, I always feel like travel gifts. Travel's back. I actually brought my... Again, if you're listening, imagine me putting on a neck pillow. Because this goes. This takes me back. This was like one of the first swag items that we had. And I think like when I started like 11 years ago, I have an 11-year-old neck pillow I don't think people use these anymore though. I wanted to ask, I was gonna, I was gonna ask, Katie, have you seen, I haven't flown in a while. I mean, last time I did, do people, what happened to neck pillows? Did our necks just evolve? We don't need them anymore. I can't remember the last time I saw somebody in an airport with a neck pillow. I actually can't either. And, but I, I gotta be perfectly honest. I never used one, so I, I'm not sure 
when all the I think hollow blue was about in the my first house. Place. I just have to say, I'm going to bring it back. <laughs> so bring, buy the secret scroll in your life, a neck pillow. I feel like it could be, I think we need to bring them back because it's pretty cozy. It's like a hug. Mm-hmm. A hug like a, for the secret, it's like a secret nice neck scroll hug. at their desk. The secret scroll hugs clearly, again, most of my gifts are inappropriate in some way. So if you would like to hug a secret squirrel, but you can't because it would be inappropriate, give them a neck pillow, <laughs> wink, wink, and they'll know what you mean. <laughs> Anyway, back to other gifts. Okay, so we talked about gifts to give. Now we're transitioning to gifts not to give. I do think mm-hmm. that's also, which we talked about that a little bit yes. with my Omaha steak story. Don't give excessive gifts. Mm-hmm. So think about within, like, again, I think that $20 limit, which is kind of the government limit, is good. Even if it's contractor to contractor, that's like a good sure. benchmark. If it's more than $20, it's probably going to make people uncomfortable. They actually, DOD actually sent something out, kind of like a disclaimer like, hey, don't be giving your favorite service member CBD products or DNA testing kits for Christmas. Good a couple point. of years ago, they sent that out, like kind of a cautionary tale about CBD products, which is like everything. There's every you can buy anything CBD now. But also the DNA testing kits. Which I, I know there's some pushback. Like there's not a quote unquote ban on DNA testing kits, but they were just saying, like, do your research because you are giving your DNA to a third party. And we have seen how like that information can be breached, like all information out there. So give your secret squirrel books, wine, tiny, tiny bags, <laughs> snack packs, and things from the Clarence shop, shop store. Anything else? Less- and, and lest I forget neck pillows. Neck I look pillows. to have like a 10 point list. Like it's not a real, holiday shopping guide if we don't have like here are the top 10 gifts to get the secret squirrels in your life that was at least seven i mean i'm not great with math <laughs> clearance job shop has way more than 10 totally has way more than 10. the last one that i definitely need to give a shout out to is our clearance jobs calendar for 2022 it is amazing it covers our secret squirrels. They 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 walk among us. They work among us, and it's all of the different uh, secret squirrels that you can find working in national security today. It's beautiful artwork. It's hilarious. You're gonna love it. It's secret squirrels. Who doesn't? 